everyone, it's Miss Graham and Max back again for another story. Max has helped me pick some stories today and we're going to start off with The Slightly Annoying Elephant by David Williams <laughs> and it is illustrated by Tony Ross and it is published by HarperCollins Children's Books. So this is what it looks like to start with. You ready? Can you see that then? Yeah. Okay. One day there was a loud knock on the door. Sam ran down the stairs to open it. Was it his mum back from the shops? Was it a friend? Was it the postman? <laughs> no. <laughs> it was an elephant. A great, big, gigantic, ginormous elephant. Hello, Sam. <laughs> How do you know my name, said Sam? You adopted me. Don't you remember? <laughs> well, I filled in an adopted elephant form at the zoo, but... Sp spluttered Sam. The last thing he was expecting was the elephant to actually turn up on his doorstep. What would you do if we had an elephant turn up on the doorstep? You <laughs> want to turn? You don't know. I don't really get that. How did you get here all the way from Africa? Asked Sam. On a plane, of course, silly boy. I think it's called... The Sorry. airline was very rude. They made me buy two seats. Why did they make him buy two seats? Because he's a massive elephant. Because he's a massive elephant. <laughs> now, if you will excuse me, I need to take a bath. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Announced the elephant. He pushed past Sam and made his way upstairs to the bathroom, knocking all the pictures off the walls as he went. <laughs> because the elephant was so big, all the water from the bath flooded the bathroom floor. What's more, he used all the soap and all the towels. Instead of hanging the towels up afterwards, he left them strewn across the floor. Oh. Is he a nice oh. tidy elephant? No, he isn't. What type of elephant would you say he was? A dirty one. A dirty one. I am hungry, demanded the elephant. What do elephants eat? asked Sam. Food, silly boy. Sam sped into the kitchen and rummaged through the fridge in all of the cupboards. He put all, poured all the food in the house into a massive pot and gave it a stir. Quickly, please, called the elephant from the living room. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine that? Having cereal and things mixed in with baked beans and vegetables. Oh. <laughs> As fast as he could, Sam raced into the living room where the elephant was sitting on Dad's armchair. Without a word, the elephant dunked his trunk in the pot and slurped up all the food in one go. <laughs> now I have had my starter. What's the main course? He asked. Oh no. I didn't so for him, that was just a tiny snack to start his eating. Later... It was time for Sam's favourite cartoon to come on the television. The elephant was snoring loudly and there was a boring show about antiques on. So Sam prized the remote control out of the elephant's foot and changed the channel. All of a sudden, the elephant woke up. I was watching that, he boomed. You were asleep, protested Sam. I was not. I love shows all about antiques. Oh, sorry. Do you collect antiques yourself? asked Sam. Of course not. I am an elephant, silly boy. Are you? <laughs> no, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> when the boring antique show had finally finished, the elephant declared, I need to take some exercise. Oh, no. Exercise? asked Sam. Yes, I need to lose a few pounds. Do you have a bicycle? <laughs> yes, but... Uh, spluttered Sam. 
But what? demanded the elephant. Well, it's quite small and, um, and being an elephant, you might break it. How dare you, boomed the elephant. Now, where is it? A bit of a bossy elephant, isn't he? Yeah. So Sam wheeled his brand new bike out of the garage. Please be careful, he pleaded. I know my way around a bicycle, the elephant said. Last year, I won the Tour de France. The elephant climbed onto the bike. And as soon as he sat on it, what do you think is going to happen? Break. Break. He flattened it. Oh, that bicycle was falling to bits, silly boy. Is he always fall? After all that exercise, I need a nap, said the elephant. Then he fell asleep in Sam's bed. <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock, knock. It was the door. Who could it be? Was it his mum, back from the shops? Sam hurtled down the stairs to greet her. But when he opened the door, he oh. couldn't have been more surprised to see... A massive herd of elephants. Oh, oh my goodness. No. Our friend invited us to stay, said the one with the longest trunk. That's 649. There were elephants in the kitchen, elephants on the stairs, even elephants in the downstairs loo. <laughs> Meanwhile, Sam rummaged around mm. in his bedroom for the adopted elephant form. When he finally found it, he realised something. He should have read the small print. And it says here, adopt an elephant. This certifies that Sam has successfully adopted an elephant. Congratulations. And the small print says, I hereby consent to said elephant coming to live in my house and inviting his elephant friends, all his elephant friends, to stay. Um. Oh my goodness. Always read this small print. Silly boy. Oh my goodness, there are elephants everywhere. And then if you look here, there's some other books by David Walliams. There is one called The, Je the, the Bear Who Went Poo, The First Hippo on the Moon, and There's a Snake in My School. I think we've read that one before, actually. Uh, we hope you enjoyed, and we will hope to see you soon as well. Bye!